it's just giving you a point and changing the picture every single time. So we gotta mess with that too. So we don't just need to check if the mouse is here and it went down. We also need to check if it was the right thing. So if this one's the llama, if we go back to our list, llamas are in position 0, 1, 2, 3. So 0 through 3, llama is correct. So we're going to add some, another and to this one. We're going to check if the mouse is over llama word, and the mouse went down. And we're going to check if guess index is less than 4, right? Because 0, 1, 2, 3 like that. And if uh, it's alpaca, it's going to be 4, 5, and 6. So we're going to say, and guess index is, oh, that should have been less than 4. Go. Greater than 3, right? Because 4, 5, and 6 are alpacas. So we're checking three conditions for these ifs. All right, let's try it out. Now this one, I know from my own experience, that's a llama. And I can prove it to you. Guess index is two, right? So this picture is zero, one, two. It's llama three. Okay, so we know that this one should give us a point. Let's make sure that's working. Okay, now this one, guess index is four. So zero, one, two, three, four. That's an alpaca. So let's check that this one's working right. Okay, now let's check uh, if it won't give a point, assuming these conditions aren't met. So guess index is one. We know this is a llama. Let's check alpaca. That didn't work. Good. All right. Now this one, guess index is six. So we know that's an alpaca. Let's check llama and make sure it doesn't give us a point. Okay, that part's working. So our correct answers are working. Now we just need to do the opposite in order to get the wrong answer. So this is if llama's correct and clicked. This is if alpaca's correct and clicked. Now we need to think about what if they clicked the wrong one and we want the score to go down. So let's uh, copy this big if for llama. Let's paste it. So now here's the new one we just pasted. If llama is clicked and the mouse went down, and now we're gonna change this last one to say greater than three. So what that means is, in this situation right here, they clicked llama, but it was really an alpaca. So we want the score to equal the score to equal score minus one in this case. And we're going to do the same thing on this one. We're going to copy and paste that one. We're going to change right here. Instead of being greater than three, we're going to call it guess index is less than four. And we're going to make the score equal score minus one. All right, let's test it out here. I know that's an alpaca. Uh-oh, that score didn't work. Let's check this one. That's an alpaca. So my score is broken, and I think I know why. I think instead of mouse went down, we actually need mouse went up. And I think the reason is, I think we're cycling through several of them really, really quickly. Um, so let's just try this. All right, if we switch them all to mouse went up, then the click itself doesn't do anything, but the mouse coming up does. So it's the release of the mouse that's going to give you the effect. And this has already gone long, but if you wanted to do something where something special happened whenever you got to a certain score, you just need one more little if down here at the bottom, 
And if you've already gotten this far, then this last part will be really easy. You'll just say, if score is greater than 9, meaning if you hit the 10 mark, then add some special effect. So like you could, uh, I think the one I had in the example was guess, which is this whatever picture is there. Rotation equals guess dot rotation plus 1. That'll just make it spin around. Let's try that. Quickly, I'm just going to get us up to, actually, you know what? I'll make this greater than 3, just so you don't have to sit through as much. And you can make it grow, too, if you wanted to. Let's try that. Cast scale. Scale plus one. Something like that. It's a little glitchy, but that's the idea.